The Ford government has unveiled a new plan to use privately run clinics to try and tackle a large backlog of surgical procedures. Now, but the plan is facing stiff criticism from five major health care unions. Matt Ingram has more. Trying to axe a pandemic-related lineup of people waiting for surgical procedures, the Ford government says permanently expanding the number of publicly funded surgeries performed at specialized community clinics is the answer. That will allow additional capacity at the hospitals to do the serious surgeries, you know, the life-saving surgeries. Premier Doug Ford and Health Minister Sylvia Jones unveiled a three-part plan to tackle the backlog, which has grown to 206,000 cases, beginning with cataract surgeries, which the province says has one of the longest waits. New partnerships with community surgical and diagnostic centers will add 14,000 additional cataract surgeries that will be performed each year. As a second and third step, the government says legislation that will be introduced in February would allow more MRI and CT scans at clinics starting this year. And beginning in 2024, more hip and knee replacement procedures would also be allowed. Jones says more than $18 million will be invested in these private clinics. And they will be giving it to corporations to fund these clinics. And let's face it, they're in it to make money. So they're going to profit from this. Interim Ontario Nurses Association President Bernie Robinson says the money would be better spent on the hospital system saying there can be more risk associated with surgeries at private clinics. There is a high rate of patient complications and even death. The Ontario Nurses Association is one of five health care unions that have come out publicly against the Ford government's plan. There already isn't enough staff to get the procedures done in public hospitals. So where are these staff going to come from? He's going to pull from our already stretched public system therefore making things even worse. Opposition parties are slamming the idea too. Ford has been scheming for years to privatize our health care system. His government has been following the privatization playbook to a T. What we heard today has the potential to create a massive gold rush of for-profit health care. The plan does have its supporters though, including the Ontario Hospital Association, the Ontario Medical Association and others. St. Joseph's Healthcare Hamilton is also in support of the plan, sending CHCH News a statement that says it's interested in learning more about how it will all be rolled out. Hamilton Health Sciences, which operates uh, the General, which I'm at right now, they also sent CHCH News a statement not expressing support per se, but also saying that they're very interested in learning more.